very, very last thing you want to mouth. <laughs> Please, I love myself the way I am, okay? <laughs> By the way, where's Mercy? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's still sleeping. By this time? Is she not going to work? Well, I'm already late for work, okay? I'll see you guys when I get back. Do this your thing and go on and put the gate for me. I love you! I love you too, baby. Asses. You're still sleeping. Hmm. Aren't you going to work today? It's morning. No, I don't. I don't think I want to go to work. I don't know how I'm feeling. I feel. I feel sick. Sick? What is wrong? You're burning up. Should I stay? Should I? Should I call Venita? No, no. I just want her to come and stay home. No, I'll be fine. Okay, then. I'm going to stay home. I can't go out there knowing that you're not fine. I'll be fine. Okay, go to work, please. Okay, I'm going to go straight to my shop now. I'll send my sister girl to get you your food at your favorite place. Okay. Rest. Thank I've you. cleaned the house. Everything is perfect. Just rest. I'll see you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> You've come in here like four times today. Why are you not sleeping now? I see you're awake. Nice. Oh. Why are you not sleeping? I just have trouble sleeping. <laughs> you called like 10 times today from work. Are you sure you did any work at all? Cindy said you complained of weakness that made you not to go to work today. I wanted to come, but she said you asked her to go to work. Are you sure you're fine? I'm just weak. What's this thing with this weakness thing? I don't understand. I think I'll have to take you to the hospital tomorrow. You know I don't like hospital. Who likes hospital? I will still take you regardless. Good. She said you didn't eat everything they brought for you today. I couldn't hold anything down. Alright. Come, let me sing for you so you can go to bed. I'm not a baby. <laughs> I know you're not a baby, but I just want to put you to sleep. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> just, well, that's it. Try. Uh, just try. Mercy. Mercy, have you been seeing a man? What? What man will I be seeing that you will not know about? Oh, you think I'm pregnant? How would you even think that we made a promise to each other now that we will not? I'm not pregnant. Sure. I'm very sure. <laughs> oh, this is fine. You'll be okay, okay? I'll just rest. Mercy, just, just get 
it up. Please, I need you. To, I need you. I need to take it out of it. You just. I don't know what is causing a star's blood shortage. She needs blood transfusion. You get it can't even get blood to run any test. I don't know what is causing a shortage of her blood. Right now she needs like two two people to donate blood to her. So I am a universal to know. Yes, why why don't you just test my blood and see for yourself? Let's so just start with my own first, please. Okay, I will tell the nurses to prepare you for the test, okay? But before that, check it something. Why are you crying? You heard the doctor, she said, she will be fine. They will give her the best, so why are you crying? They don't even know what is wrong with her. I am scared. I am scared of your unknown. You don't have to be scared. Mom and dad is watching us from heaven and God knows we've lost so much, so he will not allow us to lose anyone again. You dope your faith. She will be fine, okay? <laughs> Doc, she will be fine, okay? Just have to be strong for her. We will pray after her. Then, Doc, your blood is a match, so you follow me, yeah? Thank you, Doctor. I told you. I told you. So hang in there. I'll be right back, okay? Hey, you're awake now. Yeah. How are you feeling? Weak. Oh, what happened? How long was I out for? Just 24 hours. The doctor said he didn't have enough blood. When it had been the universal donor, didn't have blood to you. Oh, how is she so okay? She's fine. A little bit pale, but she's going to be fine. Oh, I'm sure she's okay. She's going to be fine. I'm fine. Cindy said she gave me blood. Forever and always, right? Forever and always. <laughs> Result, I can handle it. Your kidneys are failing, and you need a kidney transplant as soon as possible. How long do I have? Give or take six months. No. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Is also live a healthy life. I've been managing it. I cannot allow you to keep me, you keep me, please. We have six months. It's enough. I can say goodbye. I cannot let you go. Please. Why didn't you tell us you are diabetic? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You cannot donate your kidney. You can't. Doctor, it doesn't matter. It tolls, my dear. It tolls. We're talking about kidney transplant. It's your sister's life. I'm Cindy. You're a perfect match. No. Yes. Doctor, no. She's my baby sister. I would not allow her to do that. Yes. We are supposed to protect her. The last time I checked, I'm an adult. And I can make my decisions myself. I can't watch you. It's the only way I can do something about it. Doctor, please sign me. I'll, I'll, I'll be in my office and you get back to me when you arrive at the conclusion. Eh? Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Always is the other right. I don't hear it. I don't. It is my kidney. I know you couldn't do anything. I know you couldn't donate it. Because of your help. The girl is your friend. So, I told her to check me too. Go get rid of it. I don't want to get you. I don't want you guys to make your kidney. I am fine. Huh. My God, I do understand, Cindy. Are you sure you thought this thing is through? I have. Yes, I have. And this is it's all it is. What we should be talking about right now is a huge medical bill. The transplant is going to cost 10 million naira. I have 6 million naira saved up. That is your entire savings. We have to split things up. We need to contribute. Cindy, you've done more than enough. You have. We just need to deposit the six million naira, and after the surgery, we know we know what to balance up with. Very soon, the both of you will be going into the theatre, and God, God knows, I'm I'm losing it. I'm so scared. I. You don't have to be scared. Let me do something for us, for you. You have cared for me since I was in diaper. So you don't need to grieve. You shouldn't. I'm stronger than you know. You know. <laughs> so come here, come, come, come. All right, let me just pull up and go. Just what it means, okay? I can do it. Now calm down. 
Check out the messy on my way out. Okay? Look after yourself, okay? I love you more. <laughs> Okay, we'll make this money back together. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know what? Immediately I make money, I'm going to give you guys two million right each. No questions asked. <laughs> I love you guys. We love you too. <laughs> yes. No need to do so. I'm still awake. What is wrong with you? Look at the time. Where are you coming from? I went to need it. Hmm. But you know that V doesn't like us staying out late. She has called and you didn't even pick up. What do you want me to say? I went to need it now. I know nuns. You have to mingle with guys. Or aren't you thinking of getting married? Not for now. I want to enjoy every moment with my sisters. Before she the love I have with another person. See, I'm already in love. I mean, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't want to be in love forever. Okay. And please, don't tell me if you're okay. I love you. Go to She's <laughs> Will you stop? I am. Messi, stop! I am talking to you! What is your what? problem? What is what? What is your problem? I had to find out from Cindy that you were in a relationship. What stops you from telling me? What? Huh? Listen, a man that keeps you out late there isn't good for you. It's just a date. It ran longer than I expected. Sorry. Messi, come on. I am not stopping you from calling a date. 
All I'm saying, hiding the entire thing from me, is what troubles me. V, I have a second chance at, at life. I want to enjoy it to the fullest. I want to get married, fall in love, have kids. I want to enjoy life. Don't you want that? I want to get married. I know you have a second chance. I know you want love. You want all that. I mean, marriage is not something you take in a hurry. You need to, you need to take time to decide this. The man in question, how well do you know him? I know him. And he loves me. Oh. He does. And no, we are not having sex. Hmm. Okay. All of a sudden, you figured out that you now have feelings for him, right? Okay. Why don't you invite him over? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's just have a chat. Let me know at least who is trying to take my sister away. Are you serious? Yes. Let's just have a talk. Um, Definitely. Eve, I'm sure. Maybe. I'm sure you will come. Thank you. No, no, I'm sure you'll be in time. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine. Come on. Mm. Alright. Don't shout. It'll just shut up. <laughs> Drive carefully, okay? I love you. Comfortable with this no sex before marriage thing? V! What? Come on, I just want us to be on the same page. Because I can't stand anyone to come in, use you, and dump you. No. Oh, yes! Because if he does, I will feed his bones to the dogs. She kind of told me that already, but I, I can answer, it's fine. Um, yes, I'm okay with no sex before marriage. That's why I asked her to marry me. Good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> v, stop. I can take care of myself. Oh. He has already answered that question. <laughs> Boom. Ah. Here we go. I'm so sorry, guys. Guess what? The traffic was a bit. <laughs> I'm engaged. Yes. I am engaged. Oh. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Why are you Come and hug me. Oh my god! <laughs> Frank, Cindy, Cindy, Frank. Right. Your sister talks a lot about. Um. Oh, what? Oh, thank you. Thank you so oh, much. Wow. You have a wedding to plan. <laughs> yes. Girls, we have a wedding to plan. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Frank, what do I offer you? Oh, water. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't drink alcohol. Oh. Whoa. I cannot drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, girls, we have a wedding to play.
Cindy, what is going on? Says I'm fine. I'm okay. Mm -mm. Don't give me that, because you are not. You've been acting funny since you saw that gentleman. You're not happy about your own sister's engagement. Or are you jealous that she's getting married? Are what? You... Are you angry she's... Angry? How can I be jealous of my own sister? <laughs> Come on. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. Why would she agree to marry him so fast? She doesn't even know him. It doesn't matter. Mercy is a big girl. She must have seen something that made her fall in love with that young man. People see in her month and, and they get married. She's known that man for six months. Mercy deserves to be happy after everything she's been through. Don't forget that. After everything she's been through. Yes. We went through everything together. I, I understand that this, she's seen this as a second chance, but <laughs> I cannot let her get married to that man. <laughs> I can't. Mrs. not settling. She is in love with him. <laughs> I kind of like him. So what is it? Allow them to be, please. She's not going to marry him. I won't let her do. Now, is there something I need to know? Because I don't understand with this, I will not let, I will not let, I will not. What is it? It's not good for her. Don't tell me what is it. What is it? Is there something I should know? Is there anything you're not telling me? Mercy, I'm just processing. Please come and sit down. I want to have a word with you. <gasps> this marriage thing with Frank, don't you think you need to think it through? I don't understand. Where is this coming from? The wedding date has been set, and you love Frank. Yes, I do, but, um, Cindy. Wow. I should have guessed. You know, she's been acting funny ever since I got engaged to Frank. Oh, she doesn't want me to get married. She doesn't want me to be, to be happy, Abby. Sis, I am 30, you are 34. She want to break this jinx of us being a nun? If she just wants to get married, that's that problem, but I want to get married, okay? And nobody can stop me. Nancy, no one is trying to stop you. No one. This friend, how, how long do you know, Frank? Yes. I'm only saying this wedding thing is too early. Don't you think you need to? Just think it through. That's all I'm saying. I know that you are going to side her. You will find your precious Cindy, your favorite. If Cindy cannot get out of her feelings, I will not deny myself happiness for her. Never. Would you just shut up? Just shut up and listen to me. No one is trying to deny your happiness for no reason. Whatever the reason, I don't care. I don't. I am getting married to Frank and you guys cannot stop me. If you want to come to the wedding, fine. If not, so be it. Let's all get married in one week after engagement. In fact, I'm going to stay in this house until the wedding day. Jessica, I cannot even believe that you guys are jealous of me. You do what? I should not do what? What thing? Mercy, you cannot do this. You know? Mercy, Mercy. Mercy, don't do this. No, don't, don't go anywhere. You need to just listen to me, please. You don't, don't, don't go and meet him. Oh, sorry, you can drop me on my wedding day, Abby. Thank you. Come on, no, no, no. Please Thank just you. listen to Cindy and hear what she I has to say. To yes, she has to give me that. Why you should not marry Frank? Get oh. up of me! I should listen to her. What is happening here? She's trying to move out over to Frank's house. Yes, I am going to move out of this house to Frank's, Frank's house. So that you will stop being jealous of me. What? Jealous of you. 
I am only engaged to getting marriage to that lunatic. Goodness! It's not good for you! Oh, now you're not insulting him, Abby. Thank you very much. He's a lunatic. Fine. But you don't even know that you're actually ruining my life. You're so blinded by jealousy. Oh, you shut up if I sound you. I'll blind you. What is it? I tried to make you serious with us, but you, re you refuse to listen. I am going to marry him whether you like it or not. I will not come for your wedding. Then, then marry me. Don't come. Mercy. Don't come. I hate this. I hate this. Why will she listen? We promised each other that no man will come in between us. Why will she just listen? Eva. Eva, you, you know Mercy very well. There's nothing we'll do right now that will make her change her mind. I think we'll only support her and go for her wedding. We'll just find time and talk to her. Uh, uh, just just let, it, let, 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 let it go. Just let it go. We will only support her and be at her wedding. That's it. Just leave it. I love her. And I will always support her. But I will not be at her wedding. Frank. Babe, what's the matter? Hmm? You've been crying since you came in and you refuse to tell me what the problem is. It's my sisters. I hate that I am fighting with them. I hate that they want me to choose. Choose what? They said I can't marry you. I know that Cindy is jealous of me, but I don't know. Why she would lie against me and turn Venita against me? They said they are not going to come for our wedding. They are the only family I have. If you don't come, what is the use of the wedding? I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen after I turned down her advances and all the lies she told me against you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Babe, I love you. Very much, and I, and I know that you love your sisters too. I, I don't want you to fight them, but she used to work in my office before I fired. You know each other. I know I should have said something when she came, but, but I was scared. She used to work for me, and, and she was coming to me a lot. I mean, I refused. I I I, I rejected her. And after after she found out that you and I were going to get married, she said she's going to swear. Make sure that I don't marry you. Why would Cindy do such a thing? Why would she? Why would she do that? Hey, I, look, I mean, I know it hurts to love someone who doesn't love you. I understand that, and, and I know that you, you think that they're your family, but but I have to be your family. We're gonna have lots of cute babies. We're gonna have children, and and and, and they would never turn against you. They, they'll never get jealous of you. It's just, the marriage is happening in a couple of days. Let's just get married. Come on. Come on. Messi, Messi. Wait. You know, on that wedding day, on that wedding day, do you know this man? Mercy! What's that stuff for? Have you gone nuts? What is for trying to sleep with my man? Yes, but I was trying to say you, Frank! Are you mad? What are you saying? Okay? Is that what he told you? You believe him over me? Try not for this man in love! I will believe him because he has given me no reason to doubt him! Ever since he, got, he proposed to me, you've been acting, acting like a child, being in your feelings. Would you shut up? Shut your mouth, Mercy. Just shut, shut, shut your mouth. You've known this girl all your life. What did you do with that guy? Six months ago. 
and you believe him over your own blood, your own sister. I will believe him. I will believe him. One hundred and one percent. All he has done is to love me and make me smile. While well, you guys have been blinded by, 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 by jealousy. Jesus. What has he done for you? What? I will give everything for you. I gave you a piece of Oh, no, it's about your kidney, right? I didn't ask for it. And I will do the same thing for you. Oh, no. We've always known you to be this selfish person. You cannot do anything for anybody. Well, now that you believe that man over your own sister, what are you doing here? Since you can't even give her a listening ear. Fine. I don't want to see you people again. I didn't ask for a kidney. I did not beg for it. If you didn't want to, if you didn't want to give me, leave it. I will not beg and let you guys rip me apart. I don't want to see you people again. I don't want to see you, my husband. And Sorry. don't you ever come here again. We don't need you. Me? Go to hell. Mercy. This guy is so stupid. This guy is so stupid. Why would she do that? What would you do? What has that guy done for you? You coming here to slob her? Let her be. She comes here to slob. She's so stupid. Ah, Frank. Cindy, you need to stop. For how long would you continue to, to do this? Cry, that's all you've been doing. Missy has made her choice and there's nothing we can do about it. She has even refused to listen to us. So please stop. I have always feared a man coming in between us. How can Mercy believe him over me? How? My heart can't take it. My heart can't take it. I have called, but she hasn't been picking my calls. I just want to talk to her. I just want to know. I just don't want her to, to cut us off. I love her too much. <sighs> For a minute, I can't... Missy, come on. She will come around. Trust me, she will come around because she's not going to hate us forever. She cannot do it. Yeah, I know. It, it will be too late if you get married. It means we cannot tell her anything. It's fine. That's fine. My heart can take that as long as it makes her happy. As long as that's, that's all that matters. Really, that's all that matters. Cindy, you have a large heart. You have a large heart because I know how hard this hurts. I know. Oh, hey, remember, always and forever, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, um... I'll make a time and go over to the house. Okay? I'll make a same business with us. Okay. Because I know if we do not go for our wedding, she will never ever forgive us. Right. Okay. Fine. I'm tired. I feel, I feel really tired. Because you've not rested. You have not you've been crying for, 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 for the past how many days? Two days. I'll find time and rest, okay? Just lie down a little and rest.
how much people hurt her enough. Just look who is talking. Please, I'm here to see my sister. You can continue to cover your evil act as long as you want. She understands. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you and your slut sister have said, okay? But I'm not going to allow you to ruin what I have with Mercy, okay? What do you think you have with her? Lost. Bad character does not hide itself. And very soon, you reveal your true color. And she will come back to where she belongs. Oh, her family. Oh, is that what you think? Yes. Is that really what you think in your head? But Mercy loves me. Hmm. Okay? I should do anything for me. In fact, she even told me no sex before marriage. And our wedding is in two days. We're going to be I'm going to take her pride. And she decides to get married to Fine. If not, she comes to have her goods. Over my dead body will allow that wedding to pull through. Over my dead body! Is that what you think? Let's play that game then. No, 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 no. Let's play that game. I'm going to take you for everything she will just let her cheat on her. I'm going to watch you do nothing because I have her wrapped around my face. Really? What you want to hurt her that bad? Why has me? What have we done to you? Why do you want to destroy us? Mr. Messi is, is not a coincidence. You planned it all out. Why you do this? Why, 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 why are you doing this? Maybe what I've done with your family. I'll tell you this. <laughs> her bond is so strong that you cannot destroy it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to talk to my sister at you, buddy. Oh. Oh, you... I, I, guess, I guess you can reach her on the phone. Who do you think blocked you out of this one? You will never get away with this. You will not get away with this! You would never! I think I already have. Have a nice day. Hey, I think I heard voices. Oh, yeah, it's just somebody looking. It's wrong, wrong address. It's fine. You know, for a second, I thought that was that was Venita. Veni no, of course, of course not. So you're not going to come to my wedding? I mean, we are sisters, and we, I thought we were inseparable. I thought we were sisters. I thought we were inseparable. I understand Venita because she's the oldest. Maybe she might not be happy, but Cindy too. What is my wedding without them in it? Babe, babe. Look, we can cancel it. Okay? Let's just go to the registry and get married. I mean, I don't want you sad on the happiest day of your life. I mean... You know, I wish you can just see how, how amazing you are. I'm just a guy trying to take you away from them. Okay. Look, I, I understand the reservations about me and it's fine. I, you know, we could just get married and then whenever they come around we can do the white wedding. Let's go get married. I love you. I love you more. He said all that to you? Or because he wants to disfeat you? I don't understand. <laughs> That's a bruised ego. Wow. He can do all that just to get into her pant. We must stop that wedding. That wedding will not hold. And after everything, we'll get to the root of this matter. God knows my heart. I can't let him. I can't let him hurt her. Hey, I'll kill him. Cindy has not got into that. Please. I'm not feeling fine. I'm, I'm not strong. I, I don't know why, but maybe because of this ongoing problem. Maybe because of the review of my past. But 
I'm not strong. Cindy, you look pale. I, I was thinking it's because of this, this whole issue with Frank. No, 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 no. Listen, I'll have to take you to the hospital tomorrow before I get to work, okay? Remember, it's just one kidney that's functioning. So I need to get to the hospital in the morning. Babe. Oh, babe. Oh, my gosh. Wifey, that was. That was amazing. Husband. Mm. I can't believe that we actually got married. Yes, we did. Absolutely did. I would have been able to tell them about the first time. Because you kept your virginity. They kept your virginity. Okay? Of course they did. We promised that we would do that. And if they had lost it, they would have told me. We told them to each other every day. Tonight is not by insistence. Well, let's get back to it. What? I'm tired! Oh, why did you want to Cindy, I'm sorry, I don't have a pleasant news at all. How often have you been urinating? Um, I haven't been urinating for the past 24 hours. Okay. It came out little. I mean, then I had to force it to come out, but uh, I haven't been urinating since yesterday. Actually, did you tell me? Um, Cindy. Your kidney is failing. Yes, it's, it's like your your body can't function on one kidney anymore. I told you. I told you before you gave out your kidney to your sister. What was your choice? I have to put you on dialysis. Doctor, please. Take my... <laughs> Benita, we've been through this before. Be a diabetic patient, you can't, you can't take that risk. No, it's like risking your life and risking hers. Okay, fine. So, what can we do? It's to put on dialysis while we wait for a kidney. Not again. Not again. How long do we have to wait for? Mm -hmm. The thing is, that people dead before you. Yeah? If we put on the list and pray and hope that. She gets in mad as soon as possible. So I cannot put my hope in the bad Please, Jeez. Can't you get a wedding brother? Okay, I will, I will get the bronzes to prepare a world while we arrange for the dialysis machine, okay? Alright, thank you. Who's that? Who's that? Where's my sister? I need to speak to her. Where is she? Your, your sister? Yes. Oh, you mean my wife? Yeah, we got married. Yes. I've also entered a little bit forest. Listen, I don't care if you got married to her. I just need to see her, please. It's very important. I came to tell you that Cindy is dying. Our second and only kidney is, is failing. We need to sell off that house to, to pay the, the, the kidney donor. Yes, and I'm here to tell you that you can please find her man. Stop by to, to see her at least. When did this happen? Oh, come on. Why are you doing this? Huh? I, 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 I. You are okay? Just, just, just get on with it, I'm asking me. I'm so sorry. You thought I'm a man of God. You thought I'm a man of God. I'll let you know. Don't come back to this house. Self-destruct. What? What did you come back to say? You said what was your husband? 
the door was open. She just came to jump to the door. just here like this, you know, just like this. What? I have to stop my face. What? 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 Are you really sure that Venita wanted to seduce you? Look at it, what if something has happened to Cindy? What if she's she's really, really ill? I'm sure if she's in the hospital, it's because of me. There's a piece of her in me. I just want to go to the hospital and be sure. Please. Look, I hear what you're saying, okay? I hear you. But are we just going to forget the fact that Venita tried to sleep with me? I mean, if we didn't come here at that point, God knows what will have happened. No, no, of course we cannot forget that now. We can't. See, let me just try and sell the house and be dead for Cindy if she needs me. Then we can forget about this whole um, sister forever bullshit. We're not in secondary school anymore. Look, let's just stop talking about it. Your family for a second, okay? Uh, let's let's focus on making our own family, all right? Let's make our own family, all right? Well, I'm just worried. I don't know if it is true. If she's she's ill. Why haven't they started the Genesis? I mean, I deposited for it. And the agent just called me that the, the, the buyer of the house is ready. Man, I need to... I'm getting ready to get a, a kidney donor for you. What's going on? What's going on? What are you saying? to borrow someone's phone to reach you since you guys blocked me. Oh, well, well, I, I just want to tell you that Cindy would not make it. Yes, her dad is, is it's not functioning. It's, it's not just going to work. 
Yes, she's asking to see you. Or do you still believe that I came to your house to say to you as your husband? How selfish can you be? Mercy Cindy was there for you. Yes. She gave you her peace even without asking for it. She was there for you. Yes, just because she loved you all she needed is just for you to be by her side and you cannot. Okay. I'll call you when I get back to the world. You, you know what? Just do what you can do. If it means breaking the door, just break it because you need to be here. Just need to say your final goodbye, please. Okay. I'll call you. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy, what, what is that? Cindy, please come. You know, Cindy, Cindy, please don't, don't do this. I just called Mercy and she's on her way. You don't need to do this, please. You need to hang it for her to come and beg you. Don't do this. Cindy, I love, I love you too. I just hold you. What took you so long? But there was so much traffic on the way. You know, this guy is more. Oh God, he's so more than the fighting us. I'm sorry. I didn't even know you were still at home. But I was in the shower before you left. So, why would you think I had left the. You know what? We'll talk about this later. I need to get some coffee. So, I'm still here. Sorry, Good afternoon. Okay, what is my sister name? What's the name of her sister? Sigeke. Um, she has kidney failure. Hmm. We lost her. And your other sister have taken her to the world. You did what? We lost her. Sorry for the
she back already. She back already. What kind of rubbish is this? Hey, baby. Yeah. Where is she? Oh, my, my, my wife. She went to the hospital. What are you doing here? I guess she will find out herself. Well, I'm here to tell her that Cindy is dead. And I'll be burying her at the Koyi Cemetery in three days if she cares to come. I know so much for the CDs there. And I do not want to have anything to do with mercy anymore after the burial. And you, why would you have to go through all this to tear my family apart? You raped me. You raped Cindy and fired her. She married my sister to tear our family apart. I mean, who hurt you as a child that you had to become this useless? Who did? You know, since you've asked nicely, I'll tell you. Your father got my sister pregnant when she was a teenager. And then he asked her to abort the baby because he didn't want his also precious image tarnished in the neighborhood. My sister died during that abortion. What did my family get? Nothing. My mother died from depression because of that death. While your father roams the streets free, innocent. So I was going to avenge my sister's death. Who do you think caught the brakes of your father's car? I did. I caught the brakes. But for some reason, I, I just, I just couldn't find God. I needed to rip his entire car apart from the dirt. And then I sought out his precious little angels. And what did I find? You all are roaming free, innocent, while your father's blood run through your veins. I decided to pick you out one by one. I hired Cindy right out of university. Oh, she was a hard nut to crack. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. What I, I raped her and then I fired her. Mercy, mercy was easy as hell. It's like cutting bread with a knife. You are just ready for the fun of it. So don't stand there and act like you're innocent because your father's blood runs through your veins. All of you are not innocent. So you exact revenge on what my father did? You killed my father? My mother was innocent, but you killed her too? What did I and my siblings do to you? My sister, what did we do to you? Nothing. Destroying our relationship, you didn't bring back your sister. No, 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 he did not. She only destroyed her virgin. That's me. I have nothing to lose. I hope you found the closure you were looking for.
Hey. I just didn't, didn't hear you when you came back. Elevation wants to see you. You, 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 didn't, you didn't get to the hospital. So you, you didn't see your sister? No, I did not. She doesn't want to see me. So, so you don't know if Cindy is better? Um. I see it. There's something I need to tell you. No. Wow, that's really, that's really strong. Ah, it's come. Sorry, it's got a bit of a kick to it. Um, I, uh, I heard the conversation you had with Vanita in your who do you think caught the brakes of your father's car? I did. I caught the brakes. I hired Cindy right out of university. Oh, she was a hard nut to crack. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. What? I raped her and then I fired her. Mercy, mercy was easy as hell. It's like cutting bread with a knife. You, I just raised for the fun of it. So don't stand there and act like you're innocent because your father's blood runs through your veins. All of you are not innocent. So you planned all of it. <laughs> Trick me into getting married to you. You killed my father and my mother and raped my sister. So what? <laughs> oh, you think you're gonna die? No, no. That is very easy. It's not for people like you. Oh, uh -oh I'm sorry. You can't feel your legs? <coughs> Soon you will not be able to feel any part of your body and I will carry you to your hospital and I will play with your money. It's just a stroke. Because you wanted revenge. You ruined my family, you ruined my home, you ruined everything because of what? You know, I wish I could kill you. I wish I could just. But I'm not as heartless as you are. So I wish you a very painful. Long, painful and long life. You bastard.
you cheat, I will, if I catch you, I will eat your meat. Mama, I thought I had your oh. meat. We leave each day making you friend. As we lay you to rest today, you will always live within us. And our bond will be forever. Always, always and forever. forever. 